Morning. So today's song is Bob Dylan, um, Blowing in the Wind. Maybe we're going to have some strong winds again. Um, we've got ice up, so the snow might be coming back for some. Um, it's in bulk tomorrow, it's St Bridget today. We've got Libra, 11th house, wishes and dreams, hanging in the balance, and the moon, the shadow side. So today's card is the magician, it's hope for miracles, and you're bright, and staying positive. If the answer is blowing in the wind, then spirit may be sending us messages. Be alert, be aware. And there it is. It's not um, massively urgent, but it is important. It's about miracles, and there's the Libra energy. So, well done, Spirit. Number 11. The seventh house. Partnerships, open enemies, legal matters. Spirits, stay in silent. You've got to make sure that you don't let anything into your aura. That's negative. Stay positive, and miracles can happen. We've got them all in there. Wow. So, then it maybe is slightly more important than I'm making out. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. This is about the lack. Feeling lonely in a room full of people. Feeling half erased. The hole in the pit of his stomach. But something is changing. There's a change in the wind. A run of good luck, a number 10, massively important. And tomorrow, possibly the number two, massively important, both positive. Fate 
and um, spirituality. Let us be in J in spirit. Pomegranate, so maybe you need to drink pomegranate juice for health reasons. The knowledge that you know, um, but don't necessarily talk about. It's the tarot reader, the psychic, the medium, the carnival people. October the 11th, where I come from. It'll be different where you are. This is refusing to let negativity in any form into your life. Be it financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally or physically. There is an opportunity coming our way. A gift from spirit. This year, the year of the dragon that's coming up is going to be a gift. Should you choose to accept it and run with it, it will bring you great success. It will pay off within a year. Um, massive changes for the better. The settlement of a long-standing problem or fresh start. This is a beautiful read. The phoenix is rising from the ashes. Uh, dental problems are healed, geriatric issues, knees, bones, but above all it's a long-standing problem that is settled. We are rising from the ashes. 10, 2 and 29, which is neutral because it's, uh, no it isn't neutral, it isn't today's card. 10, 2 and 29 and 20. Dream and dream big. Because justice is about to be served. Somebody's coming off the fence. Um, absolutely beautiful energy. And miracles can happen today's card. Five major arcanas. So from the chaos, from the lack, comes all this beautiful energy. So... It's worth it. Absolutely beautiful. So whatever comes next is just window dressing. This is what's important. Fantastic energy. Seven months for your wishes and dreams. A gift from spirit. A new business, a new life, a new career. A new home, a proposal even, absolutely beautiful. The law, legalities. Yep, that chapter of lack is over. We are about to travel to the object of our desire, be it person, things or events. There is something new being born. This chapter is over, the 21. It could be a world event. It could be the internet -ish situation. Whatever it is, something is being born. You are walking away from the misery of the past. How beautiful is this read? Someone is finally taking action. This is the Ron Seal man. He does what he says he's going to do. Aries. Energy. Aries Cusper is late Pisces and early Taurus. And this is a man of action. So dream. Dare to dream because miracles can happen. There's no shame, no blame anymore. You may have been unsuccessful in a dream, in, in, in what you hoped for so far. But that was because you did not, you refused to do anything about it. You sat stuff in your face watching Netflix probably. And um, apathy is going to get us nowhere. It will just make failure. There could be a passing. An ending, stick a fork in me, I'm done. Enough is enough. 
and then to pain, physical and emotional. Um, it's time to make a decision. No longer um, dealing with abandonment issues. No longer in denial. No longer um, waiting for all the facts. It's time to end this chapter. Beautiful. Ten weeks. Eight months. Six days. Four months. Seven months. Eight weeks. And there it is again. You can no longer be held to ransom, emotionally or physically. You're setting yourself free by making the right decision. And there's the major arcana of that gentleman there. Um, Self-esteem, self-respect, shoulders back, chest out, looking the world in the eye, a makeover, perhaps a hair appointment, nails, a shave, getting up, making your bed, having the self-respect to start something new, um, a rebirth, rising from the ashes, and it will be successful. Father figures, government officials, bosses, new governments, kings, princes, prime ministers. The number 10 could mean that a new prime minister. 4 or 31. Massively important April. Yep, there it is. Justice will be served. How beautiful this read really is. Walking away from the misery of the past. I can't get over this. Don't be apathetic. You cannot sit back on your laurels. You have to take action or nothing will change. There will be none of this success. There's a codependent situation here that you have to break free from. Um, unable to stand on your own two feet or unwilling to do so. Yeah, there is possibly um, an engagement that you can't attend, a reunion that you can't make, a celebration that doesn't take place, or even a third party. Yeah, and a great loss of money or investment. Um, a new team is requir required. Spirit are giving you the green light for go. Ten years. <clears throat> it's time to move on. Leave the misery of the past behind. Beautiful. An ending. It might cost you, but it'll be worth it. So the rune is Isa. Leave it on ice for now. Ignore it. The double E. This is cold and hard, unyielding and capable of causing pain. But that pain will end. And then it's pain, physical and emotional. It's capable of causing pain. So it's not going to be easy, but nobody said it was. Um... Walking may be difficult for some. Um, hardness and weapons. Um, reindeer and snowy wastes. Wild boars, so those born in the year, the pig or the boar. Um, the alder tree and the poison of henbane. The alder is... Aquarius, well done, spirit. Um, snowy waste. The dandy, the norn of the present, live in the now. The third goddess of fate, so there she is, 
the three fits. Her iron will, as guardian of the status quo, fits perfectly with the nature of Isa, so you may need to take more iron. Uh, someone's cold heart resisted the warmth um, and persuasion. Rind refused Odin Wednesday, that means to avenge the death of her son. If somebody wants revenge, her passing is anger. Um, the force of this rune is unstoppable. All you require when this rune is found in a reading is the rarest of virtues, patience. The appearance of Isa is most distressing and the question is asked about relationships because the icy rune foretells a period of emotional cooling. So feeling lonely in a room full of people, isolated. Um, yeah, this is not necessarily a permanent state of affairs because the thaw will eventually come and the ice will melt. In other affairs, ISA also slows events down to a crawl. Business partnerships may go through rocky patches because expected events will not happen when they're supposed to. You may also find that any blocks to your ambition will turn out to be blessings in disguise because your aims and desires will change during this cooling off period. Even though this rune is not the most comfortable to live with and can be most distressing for affairs of the heart, the cool clarity of ice bestows a calmness conductive to quiet contemplation, a high priestess. The true gift of Isa, the gift that spirit is giving us. Um, is a respite from cluttered thinking, overthinking things, the walk of shame. Uh, it may even show you how to progress in the future to avoid the pitfalls and slip-ups that you would otherwise have occurred. If you are involved in creative ventures of any kind, it would be a good idea to take a pause from it. Even if you believe that you are wasting time, nothing could be further from the truth. This interval will allow you to recharge your talents and when the thaw is set in, you will thus be able to pursue your task with renewed vigour. Traditionally, this rune is associated with the number seven, so its appearance as a final rune could indicate a period of seven days. If it falls in the middle of the reading, it's said to emphasise the message. Isa is said to have no inverted meaning. However, if you do choose to interpret it in the reverse, the immobility that is suggested can be taken as a message that you can go no further and must completely change direction. Walk away. So, 11th house, crowds, uh, wishes, dreams, Aquarius, legs and ankles, social and tribal gatherings, the workplace, deep yellow, group activities, society, friends, hopes, wishes, aspirations and social consciousness, the wider collective. The moon in Aquarius. Emotionally unpredictable, independent, unconventional, isolated and uncommitted. The moon in Aquarius prefers friendships to intimacy so good friends today's energy then what's the astrology say the moon enters scorpia shared resources and reproductive organs sagittarius the number 21 we are ending this chapter and moving forwards Arrow is being released. It will hit its target. So.
finally I see. Six of Wands. We are going to now be successful where we may once have failed. Luck is not chance. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Where did it go? There. It is toil. Fortune's expensive smile must be earned. The name Emily or Dickinson could be important. You're just about ready to hit your mark. The sign of Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter and its mutable, easygoing fire sign. This is half man, half horse, known as the centaur, creature trained in the art of archery, who always manages to hit his target no matter how far he runs. So, Diane could also be important. Um, freedom at this current time is essential. You will feel the need to fight against restrictions of any kind and want everything out in the open. You want to know where you stand. The secrets are out. If your question pertains to a relationship, you or your partner need to be given extra space and looser reins. You may find yourself especially philosophical at this current time and even studying religions which may not have appealed to you before. Interestingly, Sagittarius is a sign representing large animals, especially horses and dogs, to those born in those years. You may soon be acquiring a new pet or it may be that an animal is already a big part of your life. Like these beautiful beasts, you love the sense of wildness and being in the open air. You may soon travel to areas of vast countryside. Where is that travel? The world. Um, with mountains and lakes that you want to explore, you might embrace a new philosophy, enrol in a class of higher learning, or begin to study churches and religions. A visit to a casino, the number 10, or another area where gambling takes place could come about. You will likely be fortunate and win in this venture as long as you don't proceed recklessly. It's a good time to take a gamble. When you win, walk away. The future looks promising because you are ready to expand and grow beyond your limits. If you do encounter difficulties, you will surmount them easily and move forward to your next lucky break in life, which will be coming very soon. Freedom, exploration, lucky breaks, religion, travel, philosophy, and honesty above all. Keep your words positive. Well done, spirit, the number one, the oak. Massively important is the oak to Britain. Um, and it is Taurus energy. The truth will out. The truth is being revealed. Finally. One, one, it cannot be kept hidden. The truth. It always comes out. It was the place of worship. Before churches. The mighty oak. <clears throat> The Celtic knot in the background is called the Dara knot. The knot is said to represent the root systems of the oak, symbolising strength, endurance and wisdom. The oak I'm writing around the circle reads, Enter the world of fairy. The mighty oak, the gateway to the other world, <coughs> it is known as the doorway, the threshold, same as this was, both portals to a new life. Between worlds, and is also the guardian between the worlds. The oak door is often used to access fairy or journey to the other world, so someone may literally be passing. Do not take this lightly, as the oak energy is very powerful. You must always walk this way with a pure heart and intent. If you don't, you simply won't be given access through. Spirit can see into the heart of your soul. There is no escaping or trying to do something or be something that you're not. Whenever you are in need of strength and stability, call on the oak. Are you taking on too much and struggling on regardless? It may be time where you need to realise your limits. Be gentle on yourself. The oak is about endurance, but you have to look at what cost. 
Oak will help you move from a stagnant place or show you that you, you are moving ever so gently towards your goal. Just as the acorn slowly becomes a tree, continues to grow at a slow and steady pace, the acorn's energy is also great to call on for fertility of any kind and especially new ideas or projects. Lastly, the oak is invaluable when in need of answers or seeking information. Remember its connection to the ancestors and call on the collective wisdom to guide you when you are lost or in need of clarity. Oak will help you sift through the overwhelming amount of knowledge available to us at this time and give you exactly what you need at the right time. So watch out for synchronicities. So the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Spirit is sending you messages, animals, birds, insects, numbers, etc. So keep your eye out. <clears throat> and the Ice Queen, Ice are absolutely brilliant. Come the thaw. We're waiting for the thaw. Number 28, which is the same as the magician. 1 or 28. Can't make it up. Absolutely beautiful energy. Thank you, Spirit. Well done. So... Beautiful read, 28, 29, 1 and 2. 28. Oh, beautiful. The Ice Queen has come to block your movement, but it's for your highest good. Let your ideas be preserved until later. You can thaw them out and use them at another time, when they will best serve. The realms of the Ice Queen is the place of non-action, and now is the perfect time to take a look at how far you've come and ask yourself for a re-clarification of your highest goals. Not all your plans can be accomplished at this moment. In fact, putting them on ice allows for the perfect timing later on. Don't be too hasty in trying to reach your goal. An even better one will present itself if you surrender and spend the winter with the Ice Queen. Perhaps, too, you are trying to do too many things at once. This is a good occasion to choose only one thing to focus on and let the Ice Queen put the others in the deep freeze until a more appropriate time. She'll let you know when it's time to let them thaw. Absolutely beautiful. Archangel Uriel carries the book of knowledge, all knowledge. Archangel Uriel works on the ruby rays, which is made up of purple and gold. It is the ray of wisdom and spirituality. You are blessed to attract this angel card, for he will bring you serenity, love, tranquility and peace. You, in your turn, are invited to spread these beautiful qualities to others. Connecting with Archangel Uriel will enable you to aspire to oneness with all humanity. This is a high state of grace, which will bring you freedom and joy. So three times they've said freedom. Visualise yourself in a purple and golden cloak and invoke Archangel Uriel to help raise your consciousness. You are one with everyone in peace and serenity. Thank you, Uriel. Beautiful. Speak soon. Take care. Bye.